Hello, this is Cartman Productions. Now, any guesses what's in that box? That's right guys, that right there is the Road Kills engine. Alright guys, better angle. Even if, with it being that well packed, look what happened to the top of that lava well, styrofoam is pretty weak anyway, but I think that's why they wrapped the rest of it. Alright guys, there we go. It is going to budge, not it. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad you got that piece of rail down. Do we need to get a washer that's not quite as big around as that, do you think? Or is it going to be alright? No, that holds the sprocket in the right spot. Okay. Alright, guys, we're getting the engine mounted on the mounting bars, whatever you call them. And uh, then after that, we're going to put it right in the cart. <laughs>
fires. guys I don't know if you saw that but the engine just fired a couple times I put some starting fluid in there just to make sure that the sketchy wiring setup we have going here works and it does which makes me really happy so now we're going to have to mount the engine then we're gonna have to run a fuel line and then figure out the ground then put the chain on and tension it Go ahead and go and lift up the front. This has to go on here. The front of what? Go and lift up the, the front end of this. If it helps. If it helps. You might be able to get in there. Okay, ready? Can I grab it by the leash? There's oil uh, on the bottom of this. Yeah, I'm aware. It's probably going to burn oil on. Yeah, you can pick it up there. Do not drop this or my fingers will be destroyed. I'm sure they will be. Sorry, just gotta unlock some things out of the way. Alright. Is me looking like that's helping? Oh, my finger almost just cut. Alright, it's gonna go down a little bit more. Okay, too. hold on, do not do that yet. My finger's about to. Yep, see, like it's. Alright, here, let me see if I can get one of these top links on it then. Hold on, if I let go of this, is it gonna drop? Yeah. Okay. Just here, let me... Oh, yeah, there you go. No, I'm holding it. I can't get one of the top mounts to bend it. To come on. Okay, the side. Oh, because it's sideways. Okay, up. Oh. Oh. Okay. And now it's off the jack stand. Yeah. Oh. You're okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We <clears throat> need somebody to lift the front of that. Because all the weight's on the front, it's got to move forward. Forward, up, and then back and forth to get the top links. I'm gonna do it from here this time for safety. Yeah, why don't you go over to the other side here, and then you grab, can grab here. this bar. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you guys have bad leverage, but both of you should be fine. Now I've got to get the hammer. Okay, what about this uh, little thing that's sticking down? Does it go under what the thing axle? thing that's sticking or? down? This? Yeah. Oh, no, it does not. It goes up here. Okay. Good eye. Got your cable there. Have you hooked up? No, no, you haven't hooked it up. So yes, I think it's impossible. <laughs> Alright, this has to go there. So try to line that up, guys. What, to these? No, you're fine. We'll Where get to your side, side here in just a second. We'll get one of them started. Where'd you kick the other one to? It's right here. Okay. Ready? Alright. <clears throat> Put her in. Have you fabricated any like welds for this, or did you make all Except this? Except for these back parts here. No, this was all done already on the old GY6. Oh, this is underneath the axle. Yeah. Is it a Honda, or what is it? It's a Honda clone. It's a clone. Oh, sorry, I was standing in front of the camera this whole time. Well, of course. Oh, no, you're good. Yeah, you're good. It's down. It's just got to move forward now on both sides. And up on the one. Alright, let's get this link in first. Yo, this thing's going to be cool. <laughs> Sweet to see something that actually fits in there. I know, This right? is like a full-on real go-kart. Like, this isn't even a go-kart. It's more of an ATV. This isn't an ATV. This is a miniature UTV. Oh, yeah, UTV. Alright, lift this side. Like from the front or from the back. Just, if you're just gonna... just a little bit. And 
some of the bolts in there. Going in. Okay, up a little bit more. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Okay, can you hold it up again? Because now the bolt's seized in there. There we go. Now you can let go. Alright. Well, before we finalize these mounts, let's hook up the fuel line. Where's your... And I, I will deal with the electronics. You two hook up the fuel line. From the tank? From the tank. Either the top or bottom line Is down here. Is there a kill switch hooked up somewhere? There's no kill switch, no. Where's the bottom two? Is There's there no gas inside switch. that tank? There's no kill switch. Actually, I would assume the kill switch is in this. Is there gas in here? Oh, it's going to be in the ignition somewhere on the wiring box. Is there gas in here? Yes. Well, that makes things a little more difficult. So, but the valve on that doesn't open unless there's suction. So can I... Like, so if you pull that off, it should only drip a little bit. It's not going to gush out. Do you have fuel line? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Hold on. Where does the fuel line connect to on that? It's a smaller size. Quarter inch. Oh. Here's the car. Oh, it's right here. It's on the bottom side of that. It's on the right side of the carb, right? The fuel line? The fuel. Oh, well, there should be only one port that's not hooked up to anything, and that should be where it goes in. Yeah, it's right here. This is the right size. This is probably what was on it before. I would imagine. Yeah, that looks like what was on it before. question is which one of those is running. This one. You're definitely dripping some fuel line in the fuel. Right here. And this goes. You can see it. I can't. Alright. Do you have like Perfect. clamps or something? Uh, I'm might... not going to worry about it. <laughs> That's going to fly off if you hit a big bump. Yeah, you're right about that. Grab a zip tie. Yeah, there you go. Put a zip tie or two on there. I don't have any clamps for that size. You got those small clamps, don't you? No, they're up to your left. 